Hello, fifth graders, and welcome to your first lesson in art. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to create your cool and warm fall leaf art project. We're going to be learning about warm colors and cool colors in this project. We're also going to be practicing different types of line. So be sure to check out the Google slide. In the Google slide, you'll also see step-by-step -step instructions as well as images of this project. Now this video is primarily for those who are remote learning, uh, but those that are also here working with me face to face are more than welcome to check out this video, uh, practice it at home, um, and review any of the terms or steps as needed. All right, so for this project, you are going to need a white piece of paper. Hopefully you purchased a sketchbook. You can just use your sketchbook paper. Any white paper will do. Um, you're probably going to want to go outside and collect some leaves um, because you're going to be sketching two leaves for this project. Here in class at school, I've made um, stencils for the students to trace. So they're going to be tracing these leaves onto the white paper. You're going to just be picking two. Um, but for those of you at home that don't have the stencils, you might want to go outside um, to do this project or just to collect a couple leaves just so you have something to reference as you sketch. So you're going to, like I said, pick two leaves, whether they're real leaves or the stencils here in class, and you are going to want to trace those. So you're going to need leaves, you're going to need a white piece of paper, markers if you have them, um, colored pencils will also work. Um, you're going to need a Sharpie marker or a black marker will also work just fine pencil eraser and then the last thing you will need is a black piece of paper. Now all of these materials are also listed on your Google Classroom um, so if I'm talking too fast they are, there's a list on the Google Classroom for lesson one that will list out all the materials you'll need to complete this project. All right here we go follow along and I hope you enjoy learning about warm and cool colors as we create these fun patterned fall leaves. You're going to need an eight and a half by 11 white piece of paper. This can be your sketchbook paper or any white paper that you have at home. You're gonna turn it horizontally. And then for my remote learners, you're going to sketch two large leaves, trying to fill about half of your paper with one leaf and then the other half of your paper with another. If you wanna go outside and collect a leaf or two to trace, you could trace it or you could just sketch it by looking at it and drawing it. Uh, students here in class have stencils and that's what I'm using in this video are some stencils that I've pre-cut out that I am just tracing. So you're going to do first outline your leaf with pencil or draw it with pencil just the outline and then after you've outlined two leaves then you're going to um, go over your pencil line with a black marker or black sharpie. After you've outlined your pencil lines, then you're going to take an eraser and clean up your edges. Then you're going to take your Sharpie and you're going to divide your leaf into about six sections. So you're going to draw five lines, one down the center and then four off the center line, like so. After you've divided your leaves into approximately five different sections, this is when you want to think about line and different types of line. In class, face-to-face -face learners practice creating different types of line. Zigzag lines, wavy lines, swirly lines, dash lines, castle lines, diagonal lines. I could go on and on and on. Now reference the famous line worksheet as seen in this video and also posted on your Google Classroom. On a separate piece of paper, practice creating different types of line. Then, in each section of each leaf, you are going to put a different type of line. Um, you're gonna do this with Sharpie marker. If you feel more comfortable drawing your lines first with pencil and then overlapping with Sharpie, that's fine. I'm just going straight in with Sharpie. It just depends on how confident you feel and how much practice you've had. So each section of your leaf, you're practicing a different type of line. So be creative in your lines. Do a neat job. Be consistent. 
Um, so in one section, I'm doing all zigzag. And then another section, I'm doing all castle. So you're filling each section with one type of line. Don't do 10 different lines in one section. That will get too chaotic and confusing. So you're practicing one type of line within each section. If you want to repeat um, a type of line on your second leaf, so maybe you really love the swirl and you wanna um, do a swirl in a section on one leaf and then a swirl again on the other leaf, that is fine. Once all the sections of each leaf are filled with different types of lines, then you are going to reference the Google slide again and study warm and cool colors. Next, we are going to be filling the insides of our leaves using warm colors. Warm colors are reds, oranges, yellows, and pinks. You may use marker, crayon, or colored pencils to color the insides of your leaf. Each section with its line pattern is going to be a different warm color or you could create a pattern using warm colors. You can also use a combination of both. You'll see in my example I use both marker and colored pencil. So make sure if you're using colored pencil you have your handheld sharpener handy. And remember we're only using warm colors. Reds, oranges, yellows, and pinks to color the insides of both our leaves. Do your best work and make sure that you fill in all of the space of the interior leaves. We don't want to see any white space left when we are done. Once you've finished filling in one leaf using only warm colors, you're moving on to your second leaf. And again, only using warm colors. Coloring neatly, neatness is part of your grade. Uh, make sure when you're coloring, you're coloring in one smooth direction, leaving no white space. Not only is neatness part of your grade, but this is your opportunity to show me that you know the difference between warm colors and cool colors. So make sure you're only using reds, oranges, yellows, and pinks to fill in the insides of your leaf. Once you've colored the insides of both your leaves using warm colors, now you'll need a pair of scissors and you are going to cut out your leaves. When you are cutting, make sure you cut just a little bit inside that black line. So we don't want any of the white paper to show when we glue it down next onto the black paper. So make sure you're cutting just a little bit inside um, your leaf or right on the black line. Notice that when I'm cutting, especially the leaves um, that have more pointed edges, that I have to turn my paper to get inside those tight crevices. So I'm twisting and turning um, to make sure that I get right inside the leaf. We don't wanna have any white paper on our edges. Again, this is part of your craftsmanship and showing me that you are taking your time and doing your best work. Okay, once you have both your leaves cut out, leaving no white edges, nice and clean and crisp. You are going to take your glue stick and your black piece of construction paper, eight and a half by 11, and you are going to glue down your warm colored leaves to the black piece of paper. It is your choice on how you want to glue them down. Um, I would just make sure they don't overlap. Um, but they can both be going up, they can both be facing down, they can, um, one's going up, one's going down, that is up to you. 
After you have them glued down and your glue is dry, you're gonna take oil pastels, or if you don't have oil pastels, you could use regular crayons. And now we're going to be using cool colors in the background of our warm colored leaves. Again, reference the Google slide to learn about which colors are cool colors. Cool colors are purples, greens, and blues. Cool colors make us think of things that are cool, like water or a night sky. And now you are going to outline, leaving a small black space, you're going to outline your leaves using the cool colors. Oil pastels work really great because they, they really pop against the black background. Uh, but like I said, crayons will work just fine. If you have chalk pastels, that could work too. Um, white is not a cool color. I know that often we think of snow and ice as cold, but white actually falls in the neutral color category. So your cool colors again are blues, greens, and purples, and you are going to repetitively continue to outline around your two leaves using those three colors. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this project, learning about warm and cool colors and different types of lines. Remember to check out the Google slide located in lesson one on your art Google classroom. In that Google slide will be the grading criteria, so you know exactly what I'm looking for when grading this project. Also in Google Classroom under important resources is the step-by-step -step instructions on how to upload your finished